Hello everybody, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. And I did a little bit of work here. I have a bunch of, I already got the bacon and eggs done. I have my tea going, all the murky water that I've got. So I have pretty good amount of drink. I have a ton of food. I got my second board going. So I'm getting some clay soil in there right now to build. And then I have my brass going there and I'm going to go ahead and smelt down my lead when I get done with that. So what we need to do, technically, because we're going to be making a move over to Trader Jen's because I need to check with her to see if she's going to have a cigar, a two, a four kilometer round trip. Which could be devastating. If she doesn't have anything good, I've wasted a four kilometer trip. But, you know, I ought to rethink about doing this. I That mod would come in too. Do I want to get rid of that? No, nah, it's only worth a hundred. I kind of want to hold on to it. It is a five. And so that's done. I made cement out of all the stone because cement takes a while to make. So I wanted to get the cement done. And now it's 12 minutes before four. There was actually two more zombies out here from that horde from the last episode. And I got one. There was a crawler out here, which I didn't get. And I did get a screamer, which I will get screamers uh, with as much heat as I have pouring out. But, oh, there we go. Hello. That was probably from the screamer. So... Uh, we're going to keep all that, so let's go head over to the POI, or the uh, quest, get the quest done, and then we're heading to Trader Jen's right away. All right, here's our dig area. Let's make sure we got it all cleared. We got him. I don't think I need to clear any trees. I like to clear them to have room, but I think we're actually good to... Now let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this one. I like to have full visibility. And I want to jump this. I'm, I'm getting so tired of getting these. Okay, so let me activate this and then let me get this done. All right, that's done. That went well. That went uh, pretty quick. It's only 5 o'clock. I'm very happy with that. I mean, that ain't an hour. That went really quick. It's nice because right now my shovel is two shots. So really happy with that. And that should be all of them. And take seeds. And look at that. I got 2,300 soil. All right, so now let's. Uh, we're gonna take the long track in which I need to set up a quick waypoint. Trader down. So I got 2.3 kilometers to travel. I better drink some red tea because I got a ways to go. And off we go. All right, so nearly seven o'clock. I've been grabbing some stuff along the way in the hopes that I would get some glue, some duct tape. I did get a repair kit. Uh, the one really cool thing about doing this is that it gives me a, 
some time to collect up a bunch of eggs. And I did find a deer along the way that hadn't despawned. So really happy about that. Let's hit the back side of this so we can get in really quick. And this is a total gamble. I could have wasted, I can waste three, four hours, but can she possibly have a cigar? Because Jen will have it. Drugs, booze. I've got it all. Got a beaker. I'm going to need that. And sadly, she doesn't have any book. Yeah. Nothing there. Water, honey, more potatoes, animal fat. It's good. Baseball bat. Tough guy sunglasses I don't want. And nothing. Doesn't have it. You should stock up on um, let me see. What are the candies again? Do you have one? She does. That's loot. Uh, so it costs 300 and you get a 10% barter. That means you need to sell or buy 3,000 worth of stuff to make this candy worth it. That just breaks even. That's bad. They raised the price. I think there were only like 100. So if you don't have 3,000 worth of stuff that you're buying and selling, there's no reason to ever buy one of those. I'm pretty close to that right now. But then, of course, if you only do 4,000, then you've only saved yourself a hundred. A hundred? Dude. Is that honestly worth it? I don't think it's worth it to buy. You know, maybe later in the game when you're doing a thousand, but so yeah, that was a complete wasted trip. But like I said, the cool thing was, I mean, look, I already got 12 eggs just by coming here. So that's good. So we're going to go now head back to our trader. It was a wasted trip, but we took the risk, which we're, we got to take the risk. If we're going to find um, a cigar, we have to either find a cigar or we have to find the book to make a cigar. And then I have to find the snow to kill a bear to get testosterone extract to make a cigar. Right, we made it back to our own trader and I did grab the airdrop, which was actually something decent. It had ranged mods on it. Let's open this up. There we go. Two more workstations. And rifle. Wow, that was cool. Uh, I'll take the barrel extender mod. And then we actually have this. Which I don't want to open right now because it's going to definitely overburden me. But I'm hoping to get a scope for my gun. Alright. What do you have for me, good sir? And, oh, wow, Hunter Mods Command. I think I'm going to take the duct tape. Skullcap Mod to make me money. Uh, probably not much, though. Do they have a Skullcap Mod in there? I'm going to take the duct tape. I'm going to need it. All right, jobs. I this is a new uh, different day, so all the jobs reset. Fetch clear, infested clear. All right, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this buried supplies first because it is the tier two, and it gives the tier three quick. And let's see what he has for us now. He's got potato seed, which I'm probably gonna end up buying the seed. Damn, he doesn't have any book. Fireman's Almanac 4. Fire-based weapons effect last. Effects like on torches or molotovs burn 10% longer. Nothing there. Wow. I don't really have a problem getting cold right now, though. 
armor pocket mod. I think I'm going to sell my stuff. Yeah, let's sell. I mean, the candies would be good, like, if you're buying a Crucible, you know, something like that. That's a 1200 saving. So, it's actually not bad. There. That's everything I collected. And then we're going to buy the potato seeds because I don't really have potatoes. I don't really have mushrooms either. But I'd rather just buy a mushroom seed. That's assault rifle. Hmm. I really want to get an AK-47. And then what was I going to buy? I was going to... Armor pocket mod. Oh, uh, do I want to buy the tactical warfare? Oh, Let me check me that now. out. Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> Machine guns. No, nope, I'd be one short of having a level 3 AK-47. My favorite is the tactical assault rifle. I like that better than the M60. Uh, I would love to buy those, but I want to hold my money. I got 7,000 right now. So let's go ahead and we'll put this. You want to kind of keep that free. Uh, I think I want to go with the body for right now. There, that gives one extra. And now let's go home. And put all this stuff away. And then I should probably go complete that quest. I mean, I don't technically have to. I could go off and do this right now. In fact, yeah, let me go do this right now. I don't have to stop back home. We got a wandering horde. It's a lot of XP. Which, I should be drinking that. That gives me more uh, stamina regen. There's a ton of XP. 1100. 1500. I mean, that was probably 2,000 to 3,000. And I got another one of those, which I think that's just iron. Yeah, so let's repair that. Yeah. Now I can throw a mod in there if I want to. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. All right, now let's go ahead to the BUI. Well, the quest. Now, let's get this done. Right down to the bottom. I spent actually extra time doing it. Getting this done. Because I'm going to need clay soil. And that's why I did that. I knew I would need it. Because uh, I do plan on moving to the desert. <laughs> it looks like two of them. And then we're going to have the airdrop. You know, I probably should eat. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my point. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I got a lot. I get, it's like what a waste. They gave me two of them. 
but I got 6,400 now. All right, so now let us head back to the trader once again, although we do have an airdrop coming. So I held off specifically for the airdrop to watch where it would go. It's not that far away. I mean, we're only probably about 400 meters or so away from the trader. Yeah, 330 meters. So, come on, give me farming supplies. I need to start getting those. Another claw hammer. Knuckles. Now, at least they gave me books. Come on. I got assault rifle. So now. And I already have a three bow. I can now get a four bow. If I want to buy the book, I can get myself the next AK-47. If I want to spend the 600. Or I can just still keep waiting. I didn't check to see what do claw hammers go down to. And they don't really have any use for them. Iron. I can go ahead and pour, uh, melt them down. Uh, what do you got for me, buddy boy? Baseball bat, steroids, level five iron pickaxe. Oh my word. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. I don't have to build one. Because I can't build them. Okay, so we got that, but I don't want to do those. I'm thinking, since it's... We, let's go to Bo's Mar John's Shack. I think I'm going to go to John's Shack because it sounds like it's going to be easier to do. I don't think I have anything to sell him. I can't believe that. I am just... I am so happy right now. I mean, the, the pickaxe was best case scenario. I can now go hit the, what, well, Scar technically kind of would have been with the book, but I can go hit all the stone that I want, and I'm only going to lose 20, well, not gain an extra 20% on it. Uh, what do you got going here? Oh, you're out of that. So let's get that lead going. All right, put this stuff away. As quick as possible so we can get to the next one. And then that gets put away. You get put away. So do you. Let's open this up. Nice. That's against animals. And we got a scope. And that a scope. Times two. And I got a muzzle rake. Oops. Um, I don't want to track that. That was really amazing. So these two mods we're going to save. Actually, I should put those in my box. These are going to, what's going to go into that. Well, I'm going to use, instead of that, I'm going to use a bipod. But... A level five iron pickaxe. I am just static right now. Oh, I got rid of. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. I got rid of the repair kit. I want to keep. A... Wait a minute. I thought I had another one. Oh yeah, I do have another one. I need to build more. But now, I can go out mining a ton of stone, and I'm starting to think, is that what I should do? I don't know if that's what I should do. Uh, sooner or later, I'm going to have to do it to get cement going. But I am just so far away from having
I need 14. 14 books to make a cement mixer. Because nobody even has a schematic or it at all. Alright, let's go over here. It's just simple clear. It's 900 meters away, but I'm happy just because it's a clear. So before we get to the POI, I wanted to mention, as you can see right there with that rock, there's about three or four big rocks on my way back to the trader. I'm thinking about taking the rest of the day to pound rocks because I am 14 book short. That's a lot to get a cement mixer. It takes a ton of time to first get all the stone down into the the forge and then to make the cement so i'm thinking i should actually do that now i don't i don't really want to go to, i don't know if the loot there and i don't want to waste time so I think I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not going to double loot. If I know the POI well and I know what it is, I don't mind it. But I don't honestly remember this one. And we are going to go in this way and it is up. So it's actually not here. Can you not get up from here? Oh, please. I don't really I haven't really left myself a way out. That's good. I can tear that down in the cloth. Oh, this is a small one. This is actually not that bad. Actually, oh, and here it is already. Wow. But I know upstairs is probably going to have the loot. This is a small POI. I should go up there. Outside. Okay. I'm worried about this falling. Like that. Um. I have a feeling. Ah, he heard me. Is he gonna fall? Ooh, barely got him before he gets me. We're gone. And I got them all. And let's run it. Thank you. Yeah. It's not half bad. Scrap is iron. I can't repair it, but it's actually better than what I have. And I don't think I, ha I have, there's no mods in it. So that's actually a, a good upgrade. And I got a couple mushrooms. That, go ahead and scrap for more cloth. Which, I think I have now a ton of cloth, now that I think about it. I think I'm good on cloth for right now. Um... down here and I think we can get out of here
Yeah, there's nothing else to grab, really. Um, all right, this door's locked. Let's go through this. I got to get rid of the spike traps. Go after the bodies, but I'm not concerned about them right now. Uh, I think we could probably just go back to the trader. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, let's just go back to the trader. Take out this guy. There's another guy. I don't know if it's a wandering. I wouldn't think it's a wandering horse. Uh, let's get back to our trader. Or do I want to hit the stone? It's 3.30. You know what? I'm thinking I want to hit the stone for the rest of the day. And I can finish up at the end with the trader. Modify that. And then I don't think this can use a serrated. I'm pretty positive that it can't. I think I'm going to be stuck with only one. Oh, wait a minute. Can it use a... Which one of these? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this for the rest of the day. Yeah. Oh, it's rated. What got it's rated? I don't know where to put it's rated in. this yeah i'll put that back in there yeah i'm gonna hit stone um let me hit the stone a couple of these and then we'll finish off the night up at the trader All right, so it's after 7.30 now. We only got two and a half hours, but I wanted to get here in time. Oh, did I stock up. I had a small rock that I went after, and then I went and got about three quarters of a large rock done. And I have a ton of stone. I am extremely happy to have all of that. Um, first job was for free. I don't Damn. think I need mechanical parts. I don't need wood. No flaming arrows. Um, wow. I guess I'm just going to take the book. Okay, and because we still haven't reached that, we're still on this, I haven't um, logged out. I'm going to do a fetch for Bo's Market. Just because I don't need to do any more buried supplies. And you can see there's 6,000. Oh, I already had that. That was only worth 100. Oh, that was stupid. You can see here I have over 18,000 stone. And even though we are, was it 14 books short of a cement mixer? Who knows if we'll get a cement mixer to pop in one of the traders on day 13. Also, who knows if we're just going to, you know, whether it's a schematic or the cement mixer itself. We don't know what is going to end up happening. And now what we can do is we can start this. And that's actually more too much. Um, I believe it's times 10. So you'd only need to put 3,000 because the max is 30,000. So you actually have to be really careful of that. And 
We are going to do this with 3,000. And then the rest we're going to save. Uh, I might end up doing a little more. But for right now, we're going to save it. And then I'm going to throw this in here for now. We'll end up going through this in just a moment. Today's haul, which not is much. Because I definitely was more concerned about doing other things. I need to repair that. I need some iron. Boom. Iron can go back. And that can go in the cell. In case we get a mod. And I only use that much. To get 20,000 stone. A little more than halfway extremely extremely happy about that although that does need to go uh it doesn't need to go in anywhere really i mean i do want my weighted wait a minute there's the weighted so that can go into here so i can leave that into there because we have to wait it can have two more slots that's where the stone and the metal mods will go. And now let's go check water, because we're probably going to have water. Yeah, there's two. Most will have... That was full. Full. There. I just got eight, eight more. Eight more water. Look how much water I got. I have 23 now. And I still have 17 red peas. So I'm going to end up making probably 20 red peas. And probably, well, yeah. Because I don't really have any use. I'm going to have to go get some chrysanthemum soon. Alright. Red pea. That's going to take 20 minutes. So we got to put 20 minutes worth of fuel in here. There's 20 minutes. Chrysanthemum can go back here. We're down to 67. That's good. I still have 30 bacon and eggs. And I did get more. Mm. So I'm down to 46. So I can only make 9 more bacon and eggs. But I don't need to make any more right now. I got 36 of them. Um, yeah, I'm good. No, well, that's all done. Let me repair this. I like getting this stuff repaired. So that way it's done. And now what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to constantly be working on cement. Unfortunately, we do not have an, uh, a bellows. We do not have an anvil to make this go quicker. But you could see how long it takes to do cement. Six min Two minutes to do just six so a thousand would be three hundred minutes, is it? I mean, you're you're looking at an hour and fifteen minutes of of real life time, or almost an entire day, just to do a thousand cement. So I want to get the cement done, and I've got six thousand here. So three thousand to do these. Um, I think it's Dan. And then 3,000. So right here, I could do, if I have the cement, I can build 3,000 concrete. Now, but I am I am going to go out and hit more of them. And what I probably should do is come out here. And I should probably repair the base since it's 9 o'clock. There is going to be quite a few of these that need to be repaired. So let me get these repaired. And then I can actually get them placed down before we get any more screamers. Because I, I'll get I get tons of screamers. As I, a night almost doesn't go by that I don't get a screamer because of how much heat footprint I have going on. That I have the four uh, water. They're not purifiers. Dew collectors. That's what they are called. So because I have those dew collectors going, I have a huge heat signature. Wow, all the way back there. I was able to get to it. Nice. There, we got that all repaired. Alright. 
I don't see anybody. So now let's swap it over. And we can lay down crap to replace what was lost, which is normally what I do because you're going to lose some, but uh, it just, I like this because this base is just so secure, especially when I get it cemented and then into fine steel. I mean, it's almost impenetrable unless you get to the super late game. And I actually did it once in a game where I built this out four more spots. I actually built that out another four spots, which I can still do because I haven't put the sidewalls yet. These, I also put uh, the bars on so that way no birds can get into it. It takes a ton of resources, but that's something that I might actually do in the desert. And that's where I'm going to need to collect up a ton of wood and a ton of stone because you don't get a lot of that. You get more of metal in the desert. So it looks like that is it and the base is secure. Okay, so put that back in there. And we are pretty much, I think, done for the day. And I just have to put things away is the only thing that I have to do. So here is our loot for the day, which is not much, but that's actually fine because of how much stone I got. That's what I'm actually most happy about is definitely getting that stone because now we can just all night long. I can just keep the cement going until daytime. But we're going to do the retrieve the supplies in the morning. I'm going to get this put away. And that's probably where we'll head off tomorrow. I do have a point available. However, what I was hoping to do is that I would get the cigar. And I, I want to kind of keep the points available. So I can immediately spend them. If I get a cigar right now, I can upgrade Skull Crusher, Master Chef. Or, excuse me, Skull Crusher, Minor 69, or Mother Load. And Skull Crusher is pretty big because this one, 45, 30% uh, more damage, 45% to knock down, 20% knock down to your enemy, stamina cost are reduced by 20%, 40% for power, and grants 10, 10 stamina. This one, at the minimum, grants 20 stamina. But, I mean, it, it just goes up and your your sledgehammer just becomes a monster. But, every, I mean, I'm only going to use about, I think, 28 or so stamina on a power attack. Once I get this. And you grant 20 on a kill. So, if you two-shot something, you're only using about, like, 28 stamina. When I have 121. That's why I like using the sledgehammer. And, and the stone one is, is very fast. Once I get to the next one where my power attack, it's going to be up, I think, near 80 to 100. I can't remember exactly where it's at. So I'm going to do a few little things tonight. And then, obviously, I'm going to keep the cement going all night long. So we can start building that up. And then I will see you guys in the morning when we're going to go do the retrieve the supply. So I hope you all are enjoying it. As always, my friends, take care and thanks for watching.